everybody. Happy holidays. This is Mr. D here with a special holiday season story time for you. It's going to be a little bit different than we usually do, but we're still going to have a lot of awesome stories to read. So I'm going to start off with uh, a sign word today, and that is pretty much the same as usual. Since our theme today is the holidays, no Christmas, having a good time, our sign is going to be holiday. So this one's pretty easy. You just have to uh, hold your hands open like this and then just kind of tuck them in like you've got a really comfortable pair of overalls on. Yeah. So you got hands and there you go. Now you're going to do holiday in sign language. So we're going to start off with our first book and this one is called Bear Stays Up for Christmas. And it's by Karma Wilson. Here we go. The day before Christmas snuggled on his floor, Bear sleeps soundly with a great big snore. Dear Bear, get up, Mouse shouts in his ear. We won't let you sleep through the Christmas this year. His friends are all there gathered in his lair, and the bear wakes up. He stands with a stretch and a great big sigh. I hope I can make it. I do want to try. Don't worry, squeaks mouse. Hare says it's all right. We'll keep you busy all day and all night. He tries to lie down, but his friends all frown. So the bear stays up. Come on, says Badger, it's time to follow me. In the Pine Grove Glen, there's a fine Christmas tree. So they stomp through the woods and they tromp down the track. They hoist up the tree onto Bear's big back. He plods very slow as they trudge through the snow, but the bear stays up. Back at the cave, Gopher Brant brews mint tea and Mole pops corn to string upon the tree. Raven and Wren bake a fresh fruit cake. The friends do their best to keep Bear awake. His shoulders start to stoop and his eyelids droop, but the bear stays up. They hang up their stockings by warm firelight and hum Christmas songs like, Oh, Holy Night. They cuddle and sing as they wait for the sun. But soon all the voices fade to just one. A bright star glows while his good friends doze, but the bear stays up. Bear giggles and grins, he works and he raps. He bustles and bakes while everyone naps. He piles up presents under the tree, but who's at the doorway? Bear doesn't see. He toils all night until the sun rises, making his friends their Christmas surprises. Just before dawn, he lets out a yawn, but he still stays up. When Christmas arrives so lovely and white, Bear's friends awake to a glorious sight. Presents and goodies are piled up tall, I stayed up, says Bear, just to share with you all. As his friends shout with glee, Bear lies by the tree, but he still stays up. Wren flies to the stockings and tweets out a cheer. Besides our Bear's presence, Santa was here. When all gifts are open, there's one last surprise. Badger shows Bear a quilt just his size. 
Bear snuggles up tight and mutters good night. Then Bear falls asleep. His friends tidy up and slip from the lair. They whisper sweet dreams. Merry Christmas, dear Bear. And that's the end. All right, that was a good one. All right, now for this next one, we're going to, I'm gonna show you the book as I go along, but we're actually going to sing this, and it's Jingle Bells by Michael Haig. And if you don't wanna sing along with me, that's okay. All right. Here we go, is everybody ready? Because we're gonna go through this pretty quick. Dashing through the snow in a one horse open sleigh. Over the fields we go, laughing all the way. Bells on bobtail ring, making spirits bright. Oh, what fun it is to sing a sleighing song tonight. Oh, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! There we go. That was fun, huh? All right. Well, this next one is one of my favorite, favorite funny Christmas stories. And it's called, How Do Dinosaurs Say Merry Christmas? by Jane Yellen. Here we go. On Christmas Eve, does a dinosaur sleep? Does he go up to bed without making a peep? Or does he sneak out just to check what's to see? Does he rip open presents set under the tree? Does he pick off some ornaments, angels and all? Does he shake up the tree so the rest of them fall? Does he eat all the cookies left out for St. Nick. Giving each candy cane one sloppy lick. Does he up in the stockings right onto the floor? Does he pick out the best gifts so he will have more? No, a dinosaur doesn't. He carols with care. He helps trim the tree so the branches are bare. He eats all his dinner, then clears away dishes and gives his grandparents big Christmas Eve wishes. When Santa arrives, he's tucked in. Hear him snore. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas, you good dinosaur. And that's the end. Oh, that was another good one. All right. Now, before I move on to our next story, we have another little book song to do. And this one's probably another one you know really well. It's Deck the Halls, and it's by Norman Rockwell. So if you're feeling a little extra cheerful, you know, feel free to sing along with me. All right, here we go. Deck the halls with boughs of holly. Fa la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly. Fa la 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 la. 
Gone we now are gay apparel. Fa la 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 la. Troll the ancient Yuletide carol. Fa la 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 la. See the blazing Yule before us. Fa la 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 la. Strike the harp and join the chorus. Fa la 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 la. Follow me in merry measure. Fa la 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 la. While I tell of Yuletide treasure. Fa la 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 la. Fast away the old year passes. Fa la 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 la. Hail the new ye lads and lasses. Fa la 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 la. Sing we joyous all together. Fa la 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 la. Heedless of the wind and weather. Fa la 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 la. That's. All right, good job, everybody. Okay, well, we have one more story to do, and it's called Christmas Tree by Wendell and Florence Minor. Okay, here we go. Christmas is here. Imagine that you are a Christmas tree, what kind of tree do you think you could be? A tree so high it would touch the sky? Or a tree so small it would fit in the wall? A tree that was sing when Christmas bells ring? Or a tree so bright, it would light up the night. A tree that was made for a city parade. Or a tree that's at home where the buffalo roam. A tree that could float on the top of a boat. A tree just for dogs? Or one that's just for cats? Or one just for horses? How about that? A tree where there's snow? Or there's a lot of sunshine? No, the best tree of all is the one that is mine. Merry Christmas. And that is the end. All right, everybody. Well, before you go, we do have a bonus special treat for you. Uh, before you switch off your field, stay uh, tuned in and watch as our special guest reads a classic tale, Twas the Night Before Christmas. I hope you enjoy it, and here we go. Hey everyone, Mayor Die here. Just wanted to continue our normal tradition. I know we can't really gather during the holiday season this year, but uh, still wanted to provide an opportunity to read The Nights Before Christmas, of course, the classic edition. And so, just wanted to opera, offer that up to all the kids uh, and families here in Farmer's Branch. So here we go. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief, and I in my cap, had just settled down for a long winter's nap. 
When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the win window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters, and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave the luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wondering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment it must be Saint Nick. More rapid than eagles, his cursors they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donder and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As drively as before, the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop, the cursors they flew, with the sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys had flung on his back, and he had looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf, and I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye, a twist of his head, soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word, but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, stockings then turned with a jerk and laying his finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim, ere he drove out of sight, Merry Christmas to all, and to all a good night. And so on behalf of me, the city council, our staff, and all of our families. Just wanna wish each of you a very, very happy holidays and Merry Christmas. See y'all next year.